Bayer Leverkusen came into their match day 10 clash with Hoffenheim, having scored 11 goals in their last two games in the League and Cup. Reese Nelson partnered Joel Linton up top for Hoffenheim, four goals to his name since his move from Arsenal. After a bright start from both, it was Hoffenheim who struck first. A quick corner, and Nelson, despite losing his footing, curled in a stunning opener. A quite magnificent finish, and a fifth goal already in the German top flight. Their lead lasted until just before the half hour. Karim Bellarabi has been one of Leverkusen's standout performers in recent weeks. His thunderous strike getting the better of Baumann from the tightest of angles. That's seven goals now in his last six appearances. But it would take Hoffenheim just four minutes to retake the lead. Q build up between Grilich and Kadijabek. The Czechs cross right on the money for a free Joel Linton to head home and for Hoffenheim to lead for the second time. His first away goal in the Bundesliga. It may have been all smiles from Rudi Voller in the stands, but his Leverkusen team needed improvement in the second half, and they couldn't have asked for a worse start. Schoelinton's powerful run into the area was eventually brought to a halt by a clumsy challenge from Jonathan Tarr just four minutes into it. It would be Vincenzo Grifo, starting for the first time since the opening weekend, to take charge and score his first goal in Hoffenheim colours after his return to the club in the summer. Shoa Linton had been involved in so much going forward for Hoffenheim and the powerful striker continued his great form with yet another goal. With Leverkusen committing players forward, Hoffenheim caught them on the break and Shoa Linton's finish, one of a confident player. His first ever Bundesliga brace and Hoffenheim clinical. In the end, Nagelsmann's men just too good. Their third straight league win and a third win in a row away from home for the very first time in the Bundesliga.